it's time for our bail, uh, daily business chat, I should say, with Richard Southern. Oh, my goodness, what's happening to me on this Thursday? Uh, yeah, it's, so, Thursday. it's been a long week, I Erica. Think so, We're looking yes. forward to Friday here. It's coming. <laughs> I can't speak today. Okay, uh, first it was Air Canada. Now another major airline is receiving a big government aid package, Richard. Yeah, those aid packages are flying out of Ottawa. It was Air Transat's turn today, Eric. And here's an airline that has really been hard hit by the pandemic. Unlike Air Canada, Transat hasn't flown a single flight since January. So what are they getting? A $700 million repayable loan. Us, the taxpayers, of course, putting this up. It's going to help Air Transat stay afloat. It's also going to allow the airline to dole out refunds if you had your flight canceled or missed during the pandemic. Like Air Canada, you got to go on Air Transat site to apply for it. What's more, the government, just like Air Canada, looking to take an equity stake at Air Transat. The airline giving the government warrants for 13, uh, 13 million warrants. It will allow the government, or us, the taxpayer, Erica, to potentially take a 20% stake in Air Transat. So there's a lot of mixed feelings about whether or not the government should be buying stock in the airlines, but uh, certainly boded well for uh, Air Transat stock on Bay Street today. It flew up almost 6%. All right. Uh, smaller restaurants have been suffering badly during the pandemic, but the big chains seem to be holding their own. Yeah, I guess that's really the unfortunate story in many ways, right? That, you yeah. know, the McDonald's of the world have been allowed to stay open and keep doing business. And, you know, um, it hasn't been easy for them in, in some ways in that, you know, we did see sales fall. But um, until now, we had McDonald's today, Erica, reporting its first quarter of global sales growth since the pandemic began. Global sales up 7.5% year on year in the first quarter. The United States, though, very much led the way. A 13.6% sales gain in the United States. And McDonald's says, oh, the stimulus checks had something to do with that in the U.S. But really, it was due to a new chicken sandwich that McDonald's brought in in the U.S. It's not here in Canada. But the chicken sandwich wars are continuing. KFC also noting today that the new chicken sandy they rolled out has been its best seller ever. We do get that in Canada. Of course, Popeye's kicked all of this off the other year. Everyone's coming out with a chicken sandwich. And we as consumers are still lining up to buy them, Erica. Wow. You and I should have started a chicken sandwich, I a City think News so. chicken sandwich. Yeah, who would have known chicken sandwich is the game changer there? All right. Uh, and finally, yesterday, we talked about the number of insolvencies dropping over the past year. And it appears many Canadians are seeing an improvement in their credit scores as well, Richard. Yeah, I mean, we're thinking well, bankruptcies are down. We thought they'd be up. And yeah, credit scores, according to this new report in today, also rose during the, the past year. Borrowell, a company that tracks this, says the average credit score increased by 18 percent. And uh, it also found that missed payments on, you know, credit cards and whatnot actually fell by a third. A lot of this, it says, had to do with the government uh, relief measures, along with cautious spending. It really highlights the haves and the have-nots. I mean, if you kept your job over the pandemic, Erica, chances are you, you were stuck at home, you weren't spending as much, you were making your payments, you right. were paying down debt. If you weren't as lucky, you're probably not in near as good a shape.